revving their way into a whole new controversy. This is the new Top Gear team in action in front of the Cenotaph. Now hidden by smoke, the National Memorial to our war dead. Although he wasn't directly involved, Top Gear's new main presenter today issued a direct apology. The images show are uh, terrible. They look so disrespectful. Um, there are mitigating circumstances, but absolutely no. Unreservedly apologise. You know, I saw the images this morning for the first time, and I felt the same way as everybody else. But I don't, that footage will definitely not go on there. No question about it. Roads in central London were closed over the weekend to allow the filming. In the background here, you can see just some of the police motorcyclists who were making that possible. It wasn't Chris Evans in the car, but his co-presenter Matt LeBlanc and a stunt driver. They also caused some noise for a wedding at St Paul's Cathedral. But it's the Cenotaph stunt which has caused the controversy. The BBC says it had full permission for the filming, and that is pretty clear from the photos. But whether the council and the other authorities knew that donuts were going to be performed so close to the national monument, well, that's another matter. The Cenotaph is the permanent focus for national remembrance and the scene of the annual service every November. The TV stunt has been criticised by former soldiers, including this MP. I was genuinely appalled to see the desecration of our National War Memorial for a cheap publicity stunt for a, 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 a TV programme by a national broadcaster. And the BBC claimed that they had full permission. Well, if, if they've told Westminster Council they wanted the road closed to perform donuts in the vicinity of the Cenotaph, uh, that's a very, very serious matter. I, I think it's probably career-ending. In a statement, the council said there was no discussion between BBC producers and Westminster City Council about wheel spins and a donut, and permission would not have been given to do so. We have spoken to the producers today to express our disappointment. After all its controversies, Top Gear's relaunch is planned for May. And if the BBC had been hoping for a smooth start, well, it's just gone up in tyre smoke.